On this segment, we're going to talk about Jake Paul's transition to mixed martial arts. He just said on a podcast or interview that he's planning to transfer over to MMA. He's in talks with a big organization. I find his comments kind of interesting, and I would like to talk about how he would fare in the sport. All right, so let's dive into it. So out the gate, let's just clear the air with this. Jake Paul does have boxing skill, but he has dangerous hands. He has knockout power. That's for certain. He's improving with every outing. I know the kid works hard by all accounts. And when you have drive and determination and you're young like him, I think he's like 25 years old. The sky's really the limit. You have to have some natural talent, but hard work and determination definitely go a long way if you're serious. He has some physical attributes. Now, I read a quote. He said that most likely he's going to train at AKA. Javier Mendez said that he would train Jake Paul. And he said that he would need about a year to a year and a half to adapt to throwing kicks and checking kicks. He said he already knows jujitsu and he has the wrestling. Now, I'm liking what I'm hearing as far as like taking the time to train, build your skills up a year to a year and a half. That sounds good. But he's going to need a lot more time than that to be competitive with like anybody that is solid or good. It kind of depends on the organization. If we're talking Bellator, he'll be more competitive. If we're talking UFC, he's going to have to really work hard on improving his skills overall to be competitive. It sounds like he's underestimating the sport and the skill required to compete at a higher level. Who knows what kind of opponent he's going to face, though? The kid seems to set lofty goals. Wouldn't shock me if he says he wants to become a mixed martial arts champ. I think his comments on jujitsu are kind of like comical to an extent. It takes a long time to develop submission grappling skill offensively and defensively. To kind of insinuate that you already have the skill, it's like, eh, I got to see it to believe it. I know he does have a wrestling background, so that's good. That's something that he can build upon. And he's already like a small step ahead in that respect of the game. But man, there's so much to mix martial arts, even the cardio and conditioning. To me, I feel like it's more taxing than boxing overall. Don't get me wrong. Boxers have incredible cardio and conditioning, but for striking and that style of fighting. Mixed martial arts incorporates everything in multiple styles of fighting. You have to have conditioning to box. You have to have conditioning to throw kicks. You have to have proper conditioning to grapple. It's a whole different monster, super taxing. People find out real quick, if you step into a mixed martial arts gym, if you step into a BJJ gym and you grapple or wrestle, grappling completely drains you. As you can see, the more you fuck around, the more you're gonna find out. And I've talked about this before, it's like there's striking cardio and conditioning and there's grappling cardio and conditioning. You could go for rounds and rounds striking. That doesn't necessarily translate to grappling. And the same thing vice versa. Heck, throwing kicks is taxing. He has his work cut out for him. But again, it really depends what his end goals are. If he wants to have a couple of freak show fights against some really lower tier guys that are not that good, he's probably going to look good and be competitive. But if he wants to compete at a higher level, he has to put serious work in because it's not as easy as he thinks. You guys let me know in the comment section, what do you think about this transition to mixed martial arts? Do you care? Do you think Jake Paul could be competitive in the sport? What level will he reach? How do you think about his comments with the transition and the work he has to do in order to be a mixed martial artist? Is he kind of underestimating the sport, overestimating his abilities? Want to read your thoughts, guys? Thanks for watching the video. If this is your first time at the channel and you like the content, hit that subscribe button, like and share to show support. That's the best way. Appreciate it, guys. And I'll catch you all on the next segment. Until then, everybody, please take care. Later, guys.